Phoenix? Think. What would my brother do? Legiron would probably take on Typhon single-handedly. Like when he bested the entire Spartan fleet! Who am I kidding? I'm in way over my head. Okay. I got all this stuff. What is this? Bench of Zeus. This is where you train? Oh gods, no. What a waste of me time. Just cheat using Zeus's lightning to enhance your muscles and stamina. That's what I do. You're an inspiration. I get that a lot. Hey. We got four. Oh, okay, now it'll take five to get the next one. All right. Hey, uh, this. What's this? I'm not sure. Hades had it delivered. Deposit an oh. offering for the ferryman. An unexpected help could very well arrive. Be careful, though. Argo broke the last gift from the underworld, and look what happened to him. Who's Argo? Exactly. I know I've got some of those. I've got ten, actually. Um, huh? I mean, I got something else too, but. Is this where the gods get their dental exams? No, it's where we rip off our skin to change our appearance. Huh, still better than visiting the dentist. You nasty. Okay, well that's just... that. Um... This... Those are a few ideas for ways to stick it to Typhon. You mortals seem to need an incentive, so I'll pay you Electrum for accomplishing each. And since I'm the god of merchandise, you can spend it right here on, you guessed it, merchandise. Ooh, creative. Or you could always just pay me your own Electrum. I thought the incentive was for me. I'm the god of financial gain. Those prices? Wow. I'm also the god of thieves. We all have our vices. What's that underneath? It's a chore chart. Someone has to get Ares to clean up after himself. Ever try to get blood out of a sea of blood? Now that is a feat. Hmm. I'm here selling if you're buying. Oh, look at that. Um... Oh! Okay. Cauldron of Circe. Nice cauldron! Phoenix let the empty compliment die in the ensuing silence, and instead tried to focus on potential potion recipes. I guess there's no reason not to do all the oh, potion upgrades. Wow! Okay, so that's what you use amber for. Alright. My 
as well fill those up. This, this Ooh, is going to be upgrades. Is this Hephaestus' forge? You're cute. Try not to impale yourself on anything. But Phoenix wasn't listening. He was drawn to the forge by a hidden force. The adamantine he'd gathered, calling out to be reshaped. Holy shit. Okay. Okay, potion pouches. Okay, these all do something different. Um, let's go for my swar. Okay, perks list. Oh, does this affect all of them? Oh yeah, it does. Oh my. I think that was all I could do. Fine. <laughs> Finally, whatever this is. <sighs> There's that wonderful smell again. Ambrosia is life. You want increased protection? Distill it here and drink up. Then enjoy oh. the ride. One time, Athena downed that whole Kelex and destroyed the entire Greek fleet right after she had sided with them in battle. It was epic. Sorry. Guess you just had to be there. Many of my relatives were. They died. And I told Athena not to do that. But did she listen? No. <sighs> All right. Oh, we need six. I only have four. Okay. Let me know if you're in the market for anything. Okay. All right. I got so paranoid with recording. Ever since the incident years ago. Anyway, I guess Aphrodite is coming first. Um. So I've gone back and looked at the recordings which I have not started working on yet. Probably won't for a while as of now. And... It seems... that just like in Evil West, there are parts of this game where the frame rate drops in the recordings, and I still don't know what to do about that. Because the frame rates are fine when I'm playing. Um... This is odd to me. I don't know why it takes stamina to glide. Um, but it, it's it's just weird. I I've tried it and I looked at it. And, like in Evil West, it's just specific chapters and like Calico Town. Um, it's either in a hub. Kind of area or it's in specific chapters and it's throughout like consistent throughout the whole chapter that it will the frame rate is bad and so it's something to do with the game itself um and it it's not even when a lot is going on and in this game it seems that there are some cutscenes that are fine and some that aren't that makes a lot more sense but consistently, it seems that when I go to uh, into a vault in Tartarus, anytime I'm in a vault, the frame rate drops as well. Um, and it's all completely consistent, which is what's weird about it. So, I don't know. Maybe at some point I will re-record some stuff. Or if I can fix it, that would be great. What is that? I don't know. Anyway, Aphrodite is the first. 
goddess of love. It seems that they, that these areas, like the uh, the statues, are just named after the gods. It's not like Statue of Aphrodite. As of this recording, Christmas Eve is tomorrow. Actually, in less than an hour, but I imagine I won't be able to record much. So, I'm loving this game. This is one of those games I kind of got it based off of simply taking, taking a gander. And that's it. Not much to go off. Um... But it looks beautiful. I love, like, the little story. I love Python being, like, the main antagonist. That's cool. I do find it interesting... Uh, this is one of few, if not the only, game that I can think of having to do with the Greek pantheon. Where all of the creatures and gods are... It's not common knowledge that they actually exist. Phoenix stumbled upon a winged creature, easily mistaken for a fairy. However, its true identity would soon be revealed. So, what is it? Phoenix would need to free it to find out. Yeah, but you can tell me now. Can you please respect my narrative pacing? As Phoenix freed the small creature imprisoned on the aisle, she let out a cry. Which meant, great hero, I am but a piece of Nike, oh. the goddess of victory. Please free the others, so I may return to my full glory. They won't win without Nike. She's like a glove or a... A uh, thing you wear that protects you while running. A helmet. Oh, is this showing where... Okay. Um... I'm wondering if any other gods will show up. Like, there are a lot of references... That I'm really liking... To, uh, the Greek stories. And some really obscure stuff, too. Um... They're doing a really good job with that, but this whole Nike thing already is cool. Somehow I doubt we actually get to see her. But... That's the big... I think I... I think I remember the... The song, the pattern, whatever. I'm pretty sure that goddess that Typhon was holding in the opening cutscene that he, I guess, quote-unquote, killed was Demeter, or Demeter, if that's how you like to pronounce it. Ambrosia. Yeah. That. Oh. What was that? Oh, wow. Press bolt from the blue. What up? Now, how do I use my sight? Do I have to go over here? I don't. I should, don't think so. Oh wow. Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay. Oh, wrong. I think I got it. Alrighty. Oh, that hurt. So I did have to come over here. Ah, the Valley of Eternal Spring. 
Its highlights include a massive tree that reaches up to the heavens. The Hall of the Gods. Eros' palace. Oh. oh, I'm glad he finally got his happy ending. And a palace belonging to the goddess of beauty herself. Of course, Aphrodite would claim the prime real estate with the best view. As long as she's safe from prying eyes, I'm happy. From such great heights, a fluttering of birds, feeding from the most beautiful apple tree, caught Phoenix's eye. Phoenix was about as high as I was when I thought marrying Aphrodite off to Hephaestus would stop the other gods from fighting over her. Yes, <laughs> that view from Mount Olympus is something else. I haven't seen it in years. You're not getting that high again, so stop asking! Oh, wow. So the clashing rocks was. Yeah, that's Hermes' area. Then this is Aphrodite. Okay. There's a lot of stuff. I thought there was a lot over here. Nope. Okay. Well. There's that over there. Okay. I keep pressing the wrong one. Before I do that, there was that over there that came up. So I'm gonna go check it out first. I am so sorry. I feel like is this is this a boss? <sighs> Lieutenant Ailo, the storm swift. Ailo. I think this was it. Got it. Finally. There's gotta be some... Some better, uh... Like, ranged attacks and stuff I can get to deal with that. Ooh, wow. <laughs> Huh. <laughs> 
What? Got it. One that's two four one and then one two four one three I guess. Alright. On to the matter at hand. Oh, which is about to be me falling to my death. Never mind, that was close. I guess this is happening. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. If he paid my child support. Okay, here's a big. Uh... Come on. Muse, tell me the oh. deeds of Golden Aphrodite, who subdues mortal oh. men and birds in air. And the creatures on land and sea. Grant me a song. Stir up my sweetest passions. Hey, watch it, buddy. That's my daughter in law you're talking about. Okay, so I gotta remember four different ones. I'll do that later. <laughs> happen to be Aphrodite. Why, yes, I am. Pleasure to humbly make your acquaintance. Okay. Phoenix, sorry, I'm just such a fan. You're responsible for some of the most epic love stories of all time. I have to admit, I wasn't expecting a tree, but even in your, uh, arboreal state, you're beautiful. That's sweet of you to say, but the only mirror I gaze into these days reflects the happy smiles of the creatures I help. Oh, if only I could travel to those most in need. But, alas, my roots keep me anchored here. So that's why Typhon did this to you. So you can't use your beauty to move ships or inspire bravery in battle against him. Me? Start a war? I don't know where you get such outlandish <laughs> ideas. True beauty is found in acts of service. 
True love is the giving of yourself to others. The name Aphrodite should have stood for those things all along. She did not just say that. <laughs> I am reformed now. My old essence locked away in a vault wedged under my largest root, <laughs> which is for the best. Maybe I could get that essence back for you. I'm going to need allies to go up against Typhon. We have the hungry to think about. You said you need to free yourself from your roots. To feed the hungry, of course. Well, my roots were as a pretty bad farmer, so I know how to hurt plants. Salt! It shrivels them up! Oh, would that work? But of course, my roots are not ordinary. They're primal, powerful. So we'll need, uh, mythical salt water? Oh, oh! This is in the prophecy! A pearl in rough seas! You are a pearl born from rough seas! The salty sea foam from your birth! Yes! What an inspired proposal! But I couldn't possibly trouble a stranger to recreate the conditions of my birth. What if a stranger asked to be troubled? Hmm. If a stranger asked to be troubled, then... I suppose I wouldn't really be troubling them at all. <laughs> Here's how to conjure Sifum from my birthplace. I already know all about this. Mom loved this story. Grandpappy Uranus threw a pearl into the sea. The sea churned into foam, and Aphrodite rose up out of it. A pearl? Grandpappy? I'm not sure that's how it... That's definitely the story. Okay. I'm sure that's how it went uh, down. Got it. Knock a pearl into the ocean I love it. really <laughs> hard. That sounds simple enough. Oh, thank you, Phoenix. I'll be serving fresh apples to the less fortunate across the Golden Isle in no time. Well, this is weirder than the time so we meet that turned we that kid into a lizard. Aphrodite, sweet and charitable. No more mischief. <sighs> Isn't that what you were aiming for when you married her off to Hephaestus against her will? Hey now, it wasn't. I mean, she knew I was doing it for her own good. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Grandpappy Uranus locked all the Cyclopes away with the other Titans, huh? Yes. He was afraid they'd overthrow him. There was a prophecy. Bored. Grandpappy made the right call. Those things are an eyesore. <laughs> Get it? Uh. Grandpappy. <sighs> the birth of Aphrodite is a gruesome tale. Nothing gruesome about it. Grandpappy Uranus and my deadbeat dad, Kronos, had a battle so great it severed heaven from Earth. That's not all that was severed. During his surprise attack, Kronos descended on Uranus. When Earth was severed from heaven, there was a great earthquake that knocked a pearl loose from its oyster. Hang on, there was no... <clears throat> the pearl flew from its oyster on land, and Uranus caught it and flung it out to sea with such a force that it caused the frothy foam to bubble.
Is there no way to go faster with this? From the sea foam, Aphrodite rose, full grown, beautiful as that same pearl. I can't take this anymore. Zeus, Gaia lied to you about how Aphrodite was born. Oh yeah? Huh? Then tell me how it really happened. And Kronos, they fought. You can't be serious. Fell into the sea. That's... Because Kronos cut off his... <gasps> You're sick, Prometheus! Do not talk to me! With the sea foam secure... Ah. Phoenix resolved to return to Aphrodite with the key to her freedom and the vault. Yep. Got to be something here, right? Ah, this reminds me of Bacchus and Philomene's home. I miss the screams. Why do I feel like the story is going to end with an entire village getting destroyed? Not an entire village. Hermes and I disguised ourselves as peasants and went knocking door to door, asking for shelter. Only Bacchus and Philomene let us in. Sit back, Prometheus. It's my turn to tell the story! So, Hermes and I revealed ourselves to Bacchus and Philemon and urged them to climb a mountain nearby while we... Destroyed their village to punish the mortals who didn't house you? Ah, you're no fun! Go, there it is. Destroy the village just like I did! Make those mortals pay! 
Finished with your little trip down memory lane? You know, there's a twist ending to my story, Prometheus. Oh, yeah? What's that? I didn't just spare Bacchus and Philemon's home. I remodeled it! I turned Philemon and Bacchus's home into a temple, and they became its guardians. It was the highest honor. Let me guess. A temple of Zeus. Not the point. Anyway, this old couple had one wish. Each only wanted to live as long as the other. So, when they died, they transformed into intertwining trees to decorate my temple. See, Prometheus? I oh. didn't destroy the entire village, and I did something romantic for the old geezers. Yep, real charitable, Zeus. I like that. It's like a little side quest, there's nothing special. Really short, um, but it tells a little Greek story. Alright. Aphrodite! Hey. You've returned, you sweet creature! Do you have the sea foam? Right here! Oh, aren't you good? Please, take my blessing for all your hard work. I got Aphrodite's embrace. I'm blessed. Now quick, pour the foam on my roots. The sooner I can move, the sooner I can expand my apple care. Did it work? Coming out of the foam, I was so <gasps> fabulous. No, there's too many godly creatures that need my help. It keeps me awake at night, just seeing their little beaks and bright eyes. And those noses, those quivering wet noses. What? Why am I fighting Achilles? Achilles, you fiend! I discovered a wraith layer. Where? What just happened? Typhon must not like you. Though, I couldn't possibly imagine why. Whenever anyone defies him, he sends one of his wraiths. And that wraith delegates responsibility, as wraiths tend to do, to shades. So the warrior that just appeared wasn't really Achilles? Goodness, no! The true Achilles is far more dashing. Oh, you're telling me. He's hiding in a lair nearby. Until he's defeated, <laughs> his shades will reappear on this part of the island. Is there ever any good news? Well, the sea foam worked and uh, I'm able to move my roots. One of them was actually blocking Achilles' lair. I can't help but the other three wraiths, though, Heracles, Atalanta, and Odysseus. Oh, you know what they say. Bad things come in fours. No one says that. No one says that. <laughs> Tough crowd. What about the root blocking your essence? It's just that some people I care about have been turned into stone, so I'm quite keen to- Nope. Nope. Uh, for some reason, that root is still firmly in place. Uh, thank you for your concern. But what matters is I can start delivering apples. Oh, 
all the animals will be fed in no time. Let's get to it. Thank you kindly for all your help. Many happy returns. But I... That was strange. I can't keep standing idly by. Sorry, I mean busily preparing anymore. You have to bring Aphrodite back to her beautiful snarky self before I go crazy. By the gods, where did you come from? Behind you? Does it matter? Don't worry about me. Focus on finding another way to shrivel that root. So what? Saltier, more mythical water? Actually, wait. What about Aphrodite's tears? Didn't she cry at the death of Adonis? They'd be salty and powerful. You really know your stories, kid. Her tears just might work. If you put them directly on the root, blocking off her essence. Now where did Typhon hide them? You should search the vaults of Tartarus nearby. There are three crystallized tears. All right, we have a plan then. Please hurry. Until Aphrodite is back to herself, who will I talk to about whatever this is that you're wearing? What's wrong with what I'm wearing? And he's gone. <laughs>